these are the world's funniest kid test answers that will make you laugh. Rachel has 16 chocolate bars. Tracy takes four from her and asks for the remaining quarter. What would she end up with? A giant slap. That's right, Tracy. Don't be taking Rachel's chocolate bars. When I grow up, I want to be a mailbox. <laughs> what? Why on earth would you want to be a mailbox? This kid said, I'll be famous one day, but for now, I'm stuck in second grade with a bunch of morons. Wow, don't be showing the rest of your class that. They're gonna hate you. This teacher's reviewing test answers, and they said that their teacher's the devil. Mean. This kid's definitely gonna be getting some after-school detention after that one. Two plus two equals four. That's right. I can do meth. I don't think that's what the kid meant to write. I'm pretty sure they meant that they do maths. There's several things you like about the sun. Shut up about the sun. Shut up about the sun. Wow. This kid must really hate the sun. Maybe he's more of an indoors, cold weather kind of kid. Describe how the transformer works. Oh, a bit of a science question. Oh, wait a second. If we take the car and do a little bit of a transformation, boom, the transformer is formed. You know what? You've got to give him points for creativity here. Write about what will be different in 1,000 years time. DD... Marie, wait, wait, wait. She's drawn her own grave. R.I.P. In a thousand years time, I guess none of us will be around. This person wrote their name on the test answer. Nina, please give me a point for my name. The teacher did and they got a mark for it. Maybe we should all try that out just to get a bonus point on the test. SpongeBob. What the heck? Uh, why has it got hair on him? What's that all about? Me. No. Face. My life. Trash. Oh my gosh. You good, bro? This kid literally thinks their life is trash. You're only a child. You've got so much fun things to do. Don't be calling your life trash. I agree with this one. In my opinion, morning is frightening because I must get up. Yeah, we just want to stay in bed all day. I agree with you. Where have you smelt burnt fat before? At the gym, bro. If your nose is that good at smelling burning fat in a gym, you've got some superhero senses. Who's your hero? Dad. Oh, that's so nice. Why do you consider this person your hero? He's brave. Is there anything your hero's frightened of? Mom! <laughs> Bonus point. Describe a process that could be used to create a simple door. This person literally drew out a Minecraft crafting table and the teacher has no idea what it means. That's genius, though. Italy invented this African country in the 1930s. Canada? Would you want to swim with the boy in the water? Oh, look at him. He's going for a little swim. I mean, the water doesn't look very nice. But this person circled no, because they're trash in the water. I pointed that out as well. And he's chubby. That's not very nice. Tell how you think Benji got the shark tooth <laughs> from a shark. You know what? That's exactly Exactly right. Where else are shark teeth gonna come from? Circle the smallest number. What? Oh my goodness. They went and circled the actual numbering of the question they were on. Crazy thing is, this kid's thinking outside the box, but the teacher didn't seem to care and gave him a fat zero in points. These are some sounds I like to hear. The bell, bird, sword, gun, Game? These are all beautiful sounds to hear. Is the teacher joking? The kid's literally drawn himself being shot on the other page, I think. Name the figures. Me and my brother. No! You, you can kiss him on the forehead. Or gently, but... See you after class! It's kissing. Not me and my brother. You got things all mixed up. What is procrastination? Chill. I'll answer the question later. <laughs> Putting anything off is procrastinating, and this is the best example of it. Name a solid poop. Name a liquid pee. Name a gas fart. Okay, this kid's definitely obsessed with the poops. But they're not even wrong. All of these would get tick, tick, tick. How old is your grandfather? 50, 5, 500, dead. Oh my gosh. 
The teacher felt so bad, they even said sorry and went ahead and gave them the mark. Also, all of these answers are terrible. Most grandparents are older than that. No one's going to be five. And 500 stupid. No wonder the kid wrote their own answer. Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune have at least three things in common. All planets, I believe. They're all planets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all round. All nice. None of them have McDonald's. Uh, that's an ingenious thing to answer. I'm giving them the point. Briefly explain what hard water is. Ice. You know what? You've beaten the test again. I'm giving you the point. What is a Monopoly? A board game. That's a great answer. These kids are smart. I would not be punishing them writing big brain answers, even if it's not what they're meant to be putting down. This person was asked some complicated maths questions and decide to name all of the different mass answers as the name of people. And when he was asked to draw an AR, he literally drew an assault rifle. I don't think this kid enjoys math very much. Ah, all about mum. Let me tell you about my mum. My mum is 41 or nine. What? She likes to see our chicks. What, chickens? The best thing she cooks is nothing. Dad cooks. Her favorite food is strawberry dip. Her favorite thing to do to relax is sit in her chair and do nothing. We like to watch things together. She's really good at petting the chicks. As you can see, my mum is special because she was born when Jimmy Carter... What? I don't think this kid likes their mum very much. Draw a square in the space below. Okay, this person is a beautiful square. The square's on a planet. We've got Earth. We've got aliens invading. Drawing a triangle. We've got Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy floating in space. This kid's actually an artist. Write a question about a dinosaur. Do they poop? You know what? That's a good question. We have never actually seen a dinosaur poop, but I gotta admit, there's only one way food's coming out of them, and I think it's through pooping. Why do stars appear to blink? To me, they don't appear to blink person's eyes are so strong that stars are never flashing. They're just constantly light. Honestly, I'm an adult and I don't think I can answer half these questions. Explain the phrase free press. I assume they're talking about newspapers and news. But this kid wrote when your mum irons your trousers for you. Ha! <laughs> that's one free press, but I don't think it's what they meant. Write these words in alphabetical order. So they took the word take and rewrote the letters in alphabetical order. <laughs> they did the same with value use and royal i mean you're not wrong exactly i feel like when you're a young kid and you've never done something like this before you just apply logic to it and sometimes you get answers like this look at this some kid's bike has gone missing they've drawn an incredible recreation of it even measured it nice but the thing is if you find the bike there is no reward i don't know why they've made that part the most obvious if someone's gonna find your bike at least give them something for it oh look at this girl what's the expression she's sad why do you think that she's that way someone microwaved her hamster while she was at school what's this kid doing this kid's got crazy brain okay what about this boy's expression that was delicious he ate a sewer rat. Dude, this kid's got a crazy imagination. What's your favorite part? I do not have one. Did you like the story? No, teacher. I don't think the person liked the story because there was nothing they enjoyed about it. What happens if a person refuses any care? Say, you're lost and walk away from them. No, you got to give them help if they need it. You can't be walking away from them. This kid's a genius, all right? This maze starts off with this lady here. But rather than wiggle their way through, and be fair, this is actually quite tough, but I think I'm going to make it. Don't do all of that. Just follow the red line they've drawn and go all the way outside. So much easier. Right, this person wrote <laughs> this state as West Colorado. Now look, I'm not very good with American states, but I'm pretty sure this one's California. Even I know that. When I grow up, I want to be a baby doctor that sells babies to their mummy. Imagine giving birth to your kid and then finding out you have to pay the hospital to get your baby back to you. Why are there rings on Saturn? Because God liked it. So he put a ring on it. <laughs> Saturn was not a single lady. I don't think God was trying to marry Saturn, but that's a funny answer. Tick from me, all right? So if A squared over B squared is the answer, what is the question? This kid said, well, the question's got to be, please write A squared over B squared. That is a genius way of looking at it. I don't think test questions are meant to be as easy as that. All about me. My name is Charlotte. 
I am two and a half. Great writing for two and a half year old. People are important are my family. That's so nice. Some of my favorite things are minions, baby dolls, and the Rebel Alliance. I don't like Grandpa Joe. No. <laughs> Imagine being the grandpa and seeing your granddaughter wrote that about you. I think I'd actually cry. What five words can you spell? Five. Yes. Words. Wait a second. You can spell. The teacher said very clever and gave them an extra two marks. What? This teacher loves them. Anna, the teacher has your phone. Emily, I want your phone as well. Bring it to the front of the class. How stupid. <laughs> Imagine seeing your friend's phone in the teacher's hand and then texting them. Ah, oh, they both lost their phone. Communication about mathematics. What is the relationship between each fraction, model, and expression? I have no idea what you mean. Yeah, this kid is not bothered for math, and I don't blame them. Math test. Bobby has 36 candies. He is 29. What does he have now? Diabetes. Bob definitely has diabetes. That's way too many candies to be eating. Hit the like button on this video and we'll share the remaining seven candies that he's got left. I'll share all the chocolate around between us, guys, okay? How do you change centimeters to meters? You take out the centi. He's not wrong. Look, if I delete the centi from here, meters to meters, it works. Write three words that describe yourself. Me, myself, Wise ass. Whoa! These kids are starting to realize that they're clever now. They're even saying it in their answers. Meet my hero. And this kid's written steak. It makes me calm and it is my favorite food. Can't lie, who doesn't love a steak? No wonder it's their hero. Use words or number sentences to explain how you found your answer. I think it. Okay, I don't think think it is quite a word, but you did get a smiley face for it. So maybe the teacher was feeling nice and just gave you a point. Oh no, not taxes. So why do we pay taxes so we don't get arrested? Hey, look, taxes, to be fair, do keep things running in your country and local area. But if you don't pay them, you will get arrested. He's not wrong. Write the subtraction sentence in the pictures. So eight, nice. Yep, eight flowers minus three equals five. Explain. Because I done this before. Wow. They may not be able to write properly. But they are good at math. I'm giving them the point. Guys, defend your answer. Oh, oh, look at this. We've got a big giant answer. Sarge, I don't know how much longer I can hold them. He's got a giant gun set up. He's got little sandbags. That is one way to defend the answer. There are 26 kids at the beach. Then 37 more kids come. How many kids are there at the beach? Too many for COVID-19. That's right. There's that many kids in one place. I don't think you even want to be there. It's too busy. You could catch germs. Time to go home. Use each pair of words correctly in two sentences. Your and mine. Your soul is mine. Interesting. Her and his. His and her soul are mine too. My soul is mine, but so is yours. This kid loves souls and I think he wants to kill people. Whoa! Draw red blood cells. Bro, this person's sick at anime. Draw white blood cells. Whoa! Draw palettes and draw the... What? When it came to the human body, they drew the worst one. Look how sick all the other drawings are. If only red and white blood cells did look that cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on here? F words. Okay. Fart. <laughs> what is this? Is that a butt with farts coming out of it? Why is one leg so much bigger than the other? This person was finding out about different rocks. Extra credit. What is the strongest force on earth? Love! And they got a big fat head. Love is strong people, but probably not the answer they were looking for. The man pet the dog. It hit. You should not hit dogs. Exactly. I don't care if a drawing is of a man actually hitting a dog. You don't want to be hit or fitting it. Solving equation. Okay, dude, I did maths at a high level, but I'm looking at this. And okay, we get rid of the N and the N. We end up with the... S coming down, the I coming down, the X coming down, which means we got six. And six does equal six. I don't know how that ended up working, but that's not how maths is meant to work. What ended in 1896? 1895 is kids genius. The very first cells were probably lonely. Yes, they were. They had no other cells to hang out with. Miranda can't see anything when she looks down her microscope. Suggest one reason why not. She is blind. Whoa, the teacher said no to it. 
Now that could be a reason. What about poor blind people? Totally not the fact that the microscope cover is blocked or something. Write an example of risk. And the person just wrote this. Woo! One word answer. Will the teacher accept it? Yes, they will. The point was given. Ooh, why didn't you say write cow? Yeah, bird, nice, cat, dog, fish. Whoa, what did they write there? It was definitely meant to be a D, but they didn't quite get the letter right. Time for some math. We must name the quadrilaterals. What about Bob, Sam, Tedison, Kate, and Harry. That is naming. And that's what the question asked them to do. If I was allowed to help in class, I would not. <laughs> I literally added an NT onto the end. They ain't helping in class even if they're being told to. Elliot drew a horse and then a horse. He drew a pretty good horse. And then a horse is pooping. What is that? It's like a bird flying in the air of poop coming out of him. Elliot, that's so weird. This kid was giving the picture of an apple and drew it as an iPhone. Is that not... Wait, what? No? It's an apple! Dude, w w every kid in the world would say that that's an iPhone. I'm going to give you the mark for that. One kilogram is a thousand grams, correct? How many grams are in 3.5 kilograms? Circle the letter with the correct answer. Boom, this person did C. That is correct. Rodney chose D. How did he get that answer? Rodney does maths like my mum. Yeah, I don't think real mum or Rodney are very good at maths because that is definitely not the right answer. What do we call the science of classifying living things? Racism. Oh, that's a bit deep, isn't it? I mean, we're all humans. We all come together. We should all be nice to each other, okay? This person was asked to expand this equation. So what they did is they just made it further and further apart. But the teacher says that's not good enough for the boy. What happens during puberty for a boy? He says goodbye to his childhood and enters adultery. What? Can a man still produce with one testicle? No, girls don't find that attractive. <laughs> no, you can. Nothing wrong with only having one testicle, people. It's absolutely fine. Tony practices the piano 20 minutes every day. Very good. Effect. He is a big nerd. Whoa. I gotta admit, I was meant to practice piano every day as a kid, but I was so bad at it. Don't bully poor Tony. He's being a good boy. The difference between 180 and 158 is... Is 22. Explain how you found the answer. He used math. Guys, those answers were hilarious. Click on screen to watch even more of the funniest kid test answers. I'll see you over there.